Let's now move on to the main part of our demonstration. We will be using the Agilent N2X to simulate TCP clients on the left at port 101-3 and TCP servers on the right at port 101-1. We will be using the Shunra to inject impairments using either the simulated router or the simulated network as shown in the diagram on this slide. Our first experiment will be to show the effects of stateless and stateful traffic with 3% packet loss. To inject the 3% packet loss, I will use the Shunra VTA, in particular uh, the simulated network element shown here in the Shunra GUI, which allows us to inject various types of impairments into our traffic streams. So for this experiment, we'll set the packet loss to be random with a loss probability of 3%. Closing that dialog, let's start the Shunra emulation. Going back now to our Agilent N2X, we can begin our test. Let's begin by starting the N2X traffic engine and then enabling stateless traffic. Noting the results on the right, especially the received throughput in megabits per second. And then let's disable the stateless traffic and enable the stateful traffic. Please pay attention to the results on the right, especially the uh, received throughput, as well as the fast retransmit occurrences, which are over 1,000, and the uh, timeout events, which are in the uh, low hundreds. And then to uh, stop all the traffic, I'll just stop it all at once on the N2X, and then let the, uh, the results stabilize. To quickly recap this part of our experiment, we note the graphs in the lower right portion of our display, which show that the stateless traffic maxing out at about 80,000 packets per second, but the stateful traffic maxing out at about 65,000 packets per second. So a different result even for the simple case of 3% packet loss. Now let's try a slightly more complicated experiment by adding 250 milliseconds of delay to our 3% packet loss. So let's begin by adjusting the impairments injected by the Shunra via the simulated network cloud, this time injecting latency, and we will choose a normally distributed latency function with an average latency value of 200 milliseconds and a standard deviation of 50 milliseconds. And again, okaying out of that, we can then go back to our Agilent N2X GUI. We begin by starting the traffic engine and then uh, again enabling the stateless traffic. And as expected, we don't see a great deal of difference due to the fact that we've added a delay. Uh, then disabling the stateless traffic and enabling the state full traffic where the results are uh, quite different. In particular, we see that the uh, received IPv4 packets are dramatically reduced and the received good put packets are very erratic. Uh, and in particular, the, uh, the number of TCP timeouts uh, per second has increased dramatically. To uh, close this up, we will disable the stateful traffic and uh, stop the Agilent N2X traffic engine. Again, summarizing the experiment, we can see with the stateless traffic that the received packets per second uh, was consistent with our previous experiment uh, at about 80,000 packets per second, but the uh, received stateful uh, traffic uh, was dramatically lower at uh, between 10 and uh, 20,000 packets per second. And the good put packets, so data carrying packets in the TCP connections, are on the range of six to 7,000 packets per second. So quite a dramatic difference between the stateful and the stateless traffic in this uh, packet loss and uh, delayed environment.